it. My silent day is over. So now we're gonna go back, back to the studio, I guess. Um, in the next shot, you'll see me in the studio. And I'll explain a little bit more about the silent day. Hi, so as you might have noticed, I just had my silent day and uh, in the studio I'll go deeper into what exactly I did but I, I definitely wanted to have this bit in before I went to the studio and uh, so after my silent day I, I usually am I'm very calm as you might notice but I'm also writing some stuff down and most of the time you might have noticed this or maybe not completely but I'm actually not doing anything and many people don't believe me when I say I don't do anything but I'm just sitting there and kind of, I don't know how else to describe it, but rather I'm just letting toxins out of my brain. And I get really, really calm and tired. And then when everything is out, suddenly energy comes back. And that's when I know that my silent day is usually over. And what I do is um, whenever I'm in this spot, uh, there's a really nice hotel here. and. And I think I told you about it, meeting in a luxurious hotel always gives you a good vibe. So I go to this hotel and um, it, it, first of all it starts my week in a, in a really good vibe. But also it gives me the opportunity to look over everything I scribbled down or thought of during my silent day. And yeah, and I, I get to look over it in a calm way. And then, because I'm in the Netherlands, when the rain finishes usually, I, uh, I can go home and, um, and start my day. And as I wrote in the blog post and my other video where I describe how my silent day goes, I usually uh, start eating first and then I turn all electronics on and start working. In the beginning, it took me, I think, a year of doing a proper silent day until 6 o'clock. Uh, and now, thank God, it's uh, it's only till 12, till 1 sometimes that I need to do a silent day, unless it's a very stressful week. And then my silent day goes to the normal silent day, which is uh, 5 o'clock, and then I eat, and then 6 o'clock electronics go on. So I just wanted to have this little bit in before we actually go to the studio and I go deeper into my silent day. But I hope you enjoy it, and maybe you've learned something as well from it. See you in the studio. Hey there and welcome to day three of the 30 day challenge. Today you've experienced my silent day together with me that actually I did yesterday and I'm recording today uh, for you. I recorded it yesterday, the bit that you just saw, but right now I'm recording this. And uh, I covered most of the stuff in the hotel that I was in. But in this video right now in the studio, I want to sit down one on one with you and actually uh, lay it all out a little bit more in depth. Um, we are very limited on time with these small videos. Uh, in the 10 week program, I go very much deeper into it. But for now, like I'll give you as much as possible so that you can start applying it. And uh, I'll show you why I consider this my ultimate, ultimate biohack to reduce stress levels and actually be capable of maintaining 18, 19 hour days, sometimes sleeping barely anything and having this entrepreneur lifestyle where of course not every day is an 18, 19 hour day, but uh, how you can cope with uh, all of the speed of having this lifestyle. But for now, let's, uh, let's go again into the little tradition that we have right now, which is uh, some members that are commenting. So. Hi Lova, I'm Alejo from Argentina. This challenge seems really interesting. Looking forward to it. Cheers. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us, Alejo. I really hope I'm saying your name correctly. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's really cool that you comment. I appreciate that. Definitely make sure that you uh, end up in our Facebook group because 
that's where our little community is growing every day a little bit more you can literally ask me there any question and make sure to also subscribe to the emails because I'm giving a, a little bit of secrets away and some outputs um, and of course the warning signs that that there is a new video and stuff like that so definitely make sure to subscribe there it's my personal email I make sure to read every email that I get uh, through that address and um, yeah again thank you for joining and I hope you get something out of it for now I want to go a little bit deeper into the evolution of silent day I covered it a little bit in the hotel but my silent day right now which is almost a year and a half later is completely different to the way I started my silent day so when I started my silent day I told you I had huge huge uh, stress symptoms um, I was so over the top uh, with just things going on in my life that uh, my body couldn't cope. It took me two doctors for six months uh, every week uh, having sessions with them just to balance my stress levels back again so that I can actually cope with the lifestyle that I have. And uh, this, it, this was going on, so it was a buildup of almost six, seven years of everyday constant stress, constant 18 19 hour days uh, just everything at the same time going on uh, having seven or eight jobs and studying at a very competitive law school and, and just everything together um, and many more things that I cover in my book but it's a little bit too personal to share here and uh, it's just it just shows that in in a period of one year maybe two years you can maybe co cope with it some people do but if you start looking at it from a really long term period after five six years some kind of stress symptoms st start to really show through so that's how kind of why not three and all these uh, systems that I've built and tracking systems and, and uh, biohacks uh, exists now to show that maybe you'll you'll be able to handle it for a year or two but if you're looking long term five six years um, it's very necessary to have these kind of biohacks to understand it so my silent day um, is the the key is that it's consistent because consistent consistency in this game wins if you do it a little bit every week but you never stop your body will know that there is a rest period coming which means that you'll be able to completely de-plug and I'll refer you to so I'll link down below the blog post where I go into detail on how I do my silent day and there's also a video for that blog post which you can type in silent day why not three uh, you'll probably uh, pop it up it'll be in the description as well uh, read the blog post it's more detailed and definitely watch that video in there I go deeper in how I used to do my silent day and how till five o'clock I had nothing so even yesterday on my silent day I don't take my wallet and I don't take my iPhone I did one exception which is the camera which I'm taking that exception for the 30 days so that you can see how I do my silent days but I the only thing I have is an identity card that I put in my pocket so that in case something happens I have my identity card to show but I, I don't carry anything. You might have also noticed that yesterday on the, the thing that I was shooting here, this training video, I didn't even have a watch on because I forgot to put it on. Because on my silent days, I don't put on watches and stuff like that. So definitely check it out. Um, and definitely check out that blog and the video so that you really understand the essence of why you need a silent day. And um, I would... I would really advise you if you're already suffering from some kind of stress symptoms for instance uh, with me stress uh, go outs itself into my breathing so I start breathing really bad with some people I know everything starts itching um, other people can't sleep or getting nightmares and stuff like that so those are all stress symptoms that people are getting and that means you're way over your limits and the silent days kind of the only biohack that if you apply consistently every week after six months maybe one year you'll start recovering finally and after that first year um, when you're still doing it consistently you'll notice that you have more control and you become more aware of the limits uh, of your stress limits and where your symptoms kind of start showing 
and that's when if you decide to you can do a shorter silent day and uh, so far right now especially because I'm in this period of the 30-day challenge and I have my main company to manage um, and all of the employees and everything then uh, and I'm going through recruitment again in my main company so we're hiring new people and that's why it's a lot and so right now because most of the things are balanced in my life my silent days are a little bit shorter but I can feel when I need a proper silent day and when I don't so for instance last week I had a proper silent day where I went until five o'clock so it's definitely something to check out um, if you're bored during silent day just stay and do nothing if you're really really bored get a book next to you but the whole point is that you get you get you give your body the rest that it needs so if you're sitting silently you're not doing anything at one point your body is going to get really really tired just let it be just fall asleep just do whatever around two three o'clock you'll feel energized again and just simply bored that's when i usually take a book or i take my notebook that you saw in the video and i start scribbling down some stuff I do most of my strategy setting, goal setting on my silent day. I, I uh, look if I was uh, acting according to my core values and so on. So that, that's a little short uh, video explaining about my silent day. I wish I could go deeper even into exact, uh, yeah, the exact minute by minute, day by day, uh, not minute, uh, day by day, but minute by minute things that I do in the silent day but the blog post is literally as detailed as you can get you can always email me or post in the Facebook group and uh, I hope it might help you the silent day uh, for for some of you that are entrepreneurs and are are used to being high productive um, when you do the silent day consistently you become even more productive afterwards so I always end my silent day around six o'clock the electronics are coming on five o'clock I start eating so six o'clock what happens is I start working again because if I don't do work that day I don't feel productive I don't feel satisfied and I can't really go to bed like that so you you'll notice that your week is going to be even more productive uh, and it doesn't matter if you're passionate with your business or not it's literally just going to give you that that shield to to handle stress and burnouts better and um uh, I can talk for hours about my silent day, but let's uh, let's have the blog post and the, and the silent day video do the talking. I, uh, I really hope you enjoyed it and keep me posted. Make sure to be in the Facebook group and sign up to the 30 day challenge if you haven't yet. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the silent day, got a little bit of an inside scoop into my ultimate biohack and realize that if you really want to cope with this high uh, pressure lifestyle that you don't need a really fancy gadgets that we're going to be covering in the in week three but literally this one biohack is gonna pretty much fix everything so really happy you joined me and uh, for tomorrow we're gonna be looking into the speech that changed my life so it's actually two speeches uh, and it's one speech gave me the hope that why not 3 and work-life balance uh, being an entrepreneur is possible it is one of the most motivating speeches i i've seen and it's 30 40 years old now and uh, the second speech is actually not that well known even though i wish uh, more people would know it it's uh, it's very long but it's definitely worth it and we'll see tomorrow what it is but those things are going to give you two tan one will give you a good mindset and the second one will give you tangible results to attract proper wealth into your life i'm not talking about money i'm talking about uh literally if you if you master that one that one skill from that speech then you are on the road to success uh in health wealth and relationships but above all wealth uh, but we'll cover it tomorrow and I'll see you I'll see you soon tomorrow. Bye.